Myself Nidhi Singh, Assistant Professor in Ajay Kumar Garg Engineering College Electrical Department. In today's lecture, uh, we will see the topic from Unit 1 and the subject is Microprocessor and Microcontroller. Today in this lecture, I am going to discuss the um, data transfer instructions of 8085. So, let us start this uh, lecture. So, instruction set of 8085 and first uh, we should know what are the instructions. So, Instruction is a command to a microprocessor to perform a given task on a spe specified data. And 8085 has total 246 instructions. Each instruction is represented by an 8-bit binary value. And these 8 bits of binary value is called opcode or instruction byte. Now coming to the instruction format. So before we go to the data transfer uh, instruction, First, uh, we will discuss the instruction format. So, each instruction has two parts. So, the two part here, first is the opcode that is operational code. So, the first part is the task or operation to be performed. The first part what it tells, it tells what kind of operation is to be performed. And the second part is the operand. And the second part is the data to be operated on. So, data can be in various form, it can specify like it could be 8 bit or 16 bit data or it could be an internal register or memory location or 8 bit or 16 bit address. So, here if we see this instruction that is MVIA 0.2H, here we can see that this is this part is the opcode means this is the operation which is to be performed and this operation is to be performed on this data. So, this is called operand, right. Now, coming to the instruction word size. So, an instruction is assembled in binary form which is known as machine code or op code and due to different ways of specifying data or operand, the machine code are not same for all the instructions. The size of an instruction signif uh, signifies how much memory space is required to load an instruction in the memory. So, if we talk about uh, the one memory location, so one memory location can store only one byte of data. One byte means eight bits of data can be stored in one memory location. So, it is required to know the size of the instruction that how much one instruction will occupy the space in the memory, how many location is required to uh, required for that particular instruction. So, 8085 instruction can be of diff, um, uh, following sizes like first we can say one byte instruction. So, now what are the one byte instruction? So, one byte instruction it includes opcode and operand in the same byte. So, opcode and operand they both are in a same byte. It means only one memory location is required to save such kind of uh, instructions. So, examples are like move C comma A. So, move C comma A, the binary code for this instruction, you can see that only 8 bits are required. This is the hex code for this particular instruction. So, such kind of instructions, they only require one memory location. Uh, now, the next is add B. So, add B, here also you can see the binary code uh, is of uh, one byte, then CMA. So, here what we can see, so how will we, how we will be able to know that this is a one byte instruction. So, one byte instruction, if you see that uh, only registers or instructions which are of implied addressing mode, such kinds of in instructions come under one byte instruction. So, uh, these instruction will uh, only use one memory location. Then next is two byte instruction. So, two byte instruction here, the first byte specifies the operation code and the second byte specify the operand here, right. Now, the example is MVI A comma 32 H. So, here you can see that MVI A, for MVI A, this is the binary code and for 32 H, this is the binary code. So, this is first byte and this is second byte. So, such kind, uh, such types of instruction they will use to uh, memory location. Uh, you need two memory location to store uh, these uh, two byte instructions. 
So, how will you know that uh, this instruction is a two byte instruction? Whenever you see one byte data, right, one byte here 32, this is one byte, F2H, this is one byte. So, if uh, with the instruction, if there is one byte, it means this is a two byte instruction. Now, coming to three byte instruction. So, three byte instruction, the first byte specifies the opcode and the following two bytes specify the 16 bit address. So, here note that the second byte is lower order address and the third byte is the higher order address. So, here in this instruction, this is LDA2050H. So, 2050H. Here you can see that this 2050 is itself is a 2 byte, right. So, if with instruction, if you see the number which is included in this instruction is of 2 byte, it means that instruction is of 3 byte. So, LDA for LDA, this is the binary code, then for 5020. So, here total 3 bytes are there. Similarly, jump 2085, again you can see that here 2085, this is 2 byte means 16 bit, this is 16 bit data, right. So, 16 bit number is there with this instruction JMP jump. So, this is a 3 byte instruction. Uh, now, so coming to the opcode format, so opcode contain the information regarding about operation, register used, memory to be used. So, they are, uh, they are fixed for each instruction. Uh, for B, the code is 000, for C, 001. Likewise, um, these are the different uh, code for the register. This is for registers pair. These codes are used for the register pair. Now, coming to the classification of instruction set. So, uh, we can classify all the instructions of 8085 as data transfer instruction. Arithmetic instruction, logical instruction, branching instruction, stack, input, output, machine control instruction. So, in today's lecture, we will discuss only data transfer instruction. So, before going to the uh, data transfer instruction, these are some symbols which we should know. If there is a capital M, it means it is a memory location pointed by HL register pair. If it is written R, it means it is a 8 bit register, it could be A, B, C, D, E, H, L. These are all the registers present in 8085. I hope you must be knowing the architecture of 8085. RS is register source, RD is register destination, RP, if there is written RP, it means we are talking about the register pair. Register pair means B, C, D, E, H, L. This is stack pointer. So, register pair, these are of 16 bit. These are of 16 bit register and single register is of 8 bit. So, and if it is a bracket, it means content of OF means opcode fetch, MR means memory read, MW means memory write. Now, coming to the data transfer instruction, these instructions, so what data transfer instructions do? So, these instructions move data between register or between memory and register. So, these instructions copy data from source to destination. You can transfer data uh, from one register to other register or from register to memory or between memory to memory. So, you can uh, transfer your data anywhere and these instructions, they copy data from source to destination and the important thing is while copying, the content of source are not modified, right? The content of source are not modified. So, now coming to the data transfer instruction, first instruction is move. So, move, we can move data from this is RD comma RS, RS is source register, RD is destination register. So, we can move data from one register to another register, from register to memory, from memory to register, right. So, if it is written move rd comma rs, it means we are moving the data of this register to this. That is why it is written source and here it is written destination. So, source register, we are moving to the memory 
and from memory here this is a destination register from memory we are moving to the um, register so example is move b comma a so what uh, b comma a will do it will move the content of a into b then move m comma b means it will move data of b to memory location m and the address of this memory location is given in the hl pair right then move b comma m we will transfer the data of memory location to register b and which memory location the address is pointed by hl register pair so here uh, uh, i have taken one example um, h is equal to 20 by h and l is equal to 50h so memory location 2050h contains 9fh so here you have to transfer the content of memory location to register b so what will be the instruction we will write instruction move b comma m right so move b comma m what it will do so this is the register content bef uh, before instruction so before instruction here h is containing 20 l is containing 50 right and what will be the memory content so memory content of 2050 is 9f right now you have given the instruction move b comma m what it will do it will transfer the data of this memory location which memory location which is pointed by hl pair so hl pair is pointing 2050 and in the memory location 2050 what data is there it is 9fh so 9f will be transferred to the register b right now uh, move rd comma rs this will be one byte instruction as only you can see uh, registers are there what will be the addressing mode it will be register addressing mode and flags in data transfer instruction no flags are affected and now coming to the machine cycle so there is only one machine cycle that is opcode fetch so what is machine cycle machine cycle means um the we require cycles to move data from microprocessor to memory or memory to microprocessor or io devices so um the first machine cycle of every instruction is opcode fetch whatever the uh, what whatever we are fetching it is considered as the opcode fetch so as this is a one byte instruction so in the first cycle only opcode fetch all the this move rd comma rs will be inside the uh, microprocessor then we have move m comma rs this is one byte instruction indirect addressing mode then uh, flags will not be affected machine cycle will be opcode fetch and memory write why it will be a memory write because here this is move m comma rs you are transferring the data of this register to the memory location so in first opcode fetch this whole instruction will be um, in inside the microprocessor and will when microprocessor will execute this uh, instruction what it has to do it has to move the data of this register into the memory so one more machine cycle is required that is memory write then next instruction is again it is a one byte indirect and flags are not affected and the machine cycle is opcode fetch and memory read so why memory read because here the data from memory is to be transferred in the register right so for uh, fetching now next is mvi that is move immediate 8 bit data um here with register we have data with memory we have data here so this is a 92h move immediate data so 92h will be move to the b 3h will be move to the memory location which is pointed by hl register pair so here assume that uh, hln contain 20 and 50h respectively and load 3h in memory location 2050h so here we can use the instruction mvi m comma 3h so what will happen here this is these are the content uh, before instruction h is 20 h is containing 2050 h is containing 20 and l is containing 50 so content after instruction h and l 2050 will be there source will not be altered but the this 3ah 3ah will be moved to the memory location 2050
now uh, this mvi uh, b comma 92h is a two byte instruction as you can see 92 itself is a one byte so addressing mode is immediate mvi where whenever you see there is a i it means it is a immediate addressing mode is there flags will not be affected machine cycle opcode fetch and memory read so opcode fetch is the first machine cycle so in first machine cycle this mvi b will be um, in the microprocessor then uh, 92 is to be taken to the microprocessor so again memory read is required then second this is again a two byte instruction immediate and addressing mode is none and machine cycle is opcode fetch memory read and memory write because here you have to write this data into the memory so one more machine cycle is required here then now coming to the lxi rp comma data it means load register pair immediate load register pair immediate so this instruction load immediate 16 bit data is specified within the instruction into register pair or stack pointer so here if it is written lxi b comma 1020h it means v the b is loaded with 10h and c is loaded with 20h as so again this uh, this will be a 3 byte instruction because this 1020h is itself a 2 byte then addressing mode will be immediate as you can see i is here and whenever there is a x it means we are talking about the register pair so if it is written lxi b comma 1020h i means immediate it means this is a data and this is obvious thing that only b is written so b is a what it is a 8 bit register and this is 16 bit data so this 16 bit data cannot be transferred to this 8 bit but here we are writing this b but x represent that we are not we are talking about the bc register pair so bc register pair is a 16 bit register and sorry so uh, this data will be shifted to the bc so b will contain 10 and c will contain 20 so this is a 3 byte immediate and machine cycle required is opcode fetch memory read and memory read why memory read two uh, two times because uh, this 10 is in one memory location and this 20 is in another memory location so for one memory read is required for this and one another memory read is required for this now coming to the lda address this is load accumulator direct so instruction will copy the content of memory location 2050h into the register a so if it is written lda 2050h so this is the address of the memory location so whatever data is stored in this memory location will be transferred to the accumulator suppose uh, uh, 2050 this memory location contains 30h so after lda 2050h after this accumulator will contain 30h right so this is a 3 byte instruction by 3 byte instruction 2050 here you can see this is 16 bit right 16 bit means 2 byte so addressing mode is direct because directly you are giving the address then flags will not be affected machine cycles opcode fetch memory read memory read and memory read three memory reads are required by three memory reads are required because 2050 two memory reads are required for this and next the data which is stored in this memory location uh, for execution for execution you require one more memory read cycle so now next is ldaxrp this is load accumulator indirect indirect because here you are giving this register right so instruction will copy the content of memory location specified by bc pair into accumulator so here you can see we are using x whenever we are using x it means we are not just talking about b we are talking about bc pair so here the bc pair will contain the address of the memory location from which data is to be transferred to the accumulator right so this is a one byte instruction addressing mode is indirect flags affected are none machine cycle is opcode fetch and memory read right now if you compare this ldax rp and the previous instruction which is lda address if you see the functioning of both the instruction is same right 
uh, uh, LDA address, what you are doing? You are transferring the data of this memory location to accumulator, right? And LDAXB, what you are doing? You are again transferring the data of memory location to the accumulator. But here you can see LDAX is a one byte instruction. But if you see this LDA address is a uh, three byte instruction, right? But the functioning of both the instruction is same. So if you use indirect, uh, indirect addressing mode, then here you can see the memory location required is very less. So this is one byte instruction. So and machine psyche is also required of code fetch and memory read. Now next is store accumulator direct. So store accumulator direct STA 2000H. It means you are storing the data of accumulator to this address. So if accumulator is containing suppose 30H. So this 30H where you are transferring to the memory location 2000 so after this instruction this accumulator will be stored in this memory location so uh, this is a 3 byte uh, and machine cycle is opcode fetch memory read and memory write so the next is stxrp so stxrp store accumulator indirect so the address is given through this bc pair right so, if BC pair is containing 2050, it means at 2050, you will store the content of accumulator. So, if accumulator is containing 30H, so this 30H will be stored in this memory location. So, this is a one byte instruction, addressing mode is indirect, flags will not be affected and machine cycle is opcode fetch and memory write. So, why memory write? Because here you are writing in the memory, right? So, for execution, this is a one byte instruction. So, in opcode fetch, all the instruction will be in microprocessor. So, memory write, you require memory write to execute this particular instruction. Then we have SHLD address, it will store H and L register directly. So, SHLD. 2500H, it will store HL directly to this address that is 2500 and this is a 3 byte instruction as you can see 2500 16-bit data is with this instruction, addressing more direct, flags affected none and machine cycle is opcode fetch, 2 memory reads are required for this, then memory write and memory write, right. Then L, this is load HL register direct, so here the address is given. This is again a 3 byte instruction as you can see addressing mode is direct because directly address is given in this and uh, flags affected none, machine cycle required is opcode fetch and 4 memory read machine cycles are required because 2 for read the address 2, 5 and 5, 0 these memory read to because HL pair is required, HL pair is there, so two memory read is there to read the content from H and L. Then exchange H and L with D and E, exchange. So content of register H are exchanged with the content of register D. Here we are exchanging the content of H with the register D and the content of register L are exchanged with the content of register E. So, uh, here this is a one byte addressing mode is implied because uh, exchange itself it means that H will be get exchanged with D, H data will be given to D and D will be exchanged to H and L to E and E data to the L. Flags affected and opcode only opcode fetch one machine cycle will be required. Now coming to the Question here we have moved the content of memory location FC50H to register C. Now you have to move the content of memory location FC50H to register C. So how we, how we will do this? Uh, here we can use LXIH 
FC50H. So, what we are doing? We are loading HL pair with FC50, right? And then we are moving C comma M. Move C comma M means we are moving the data of this memory location to the register C, right? So, memory location, which memory location? The memory location which is pointed by HL pair. So, HL pair is pointing to which memory location? FC50, right? So, suppose in this memory location FC50, the data present is 20H, right? So, data present is 20H. So, move C comma M, what will happen after this execution? C will contain. So, after move C comma M, M means we are moving the data of memory location. FC50. This is a memory location and data is 20S. So, this data will be moved to register C and this register now contain 20H and then halt. It means you are stopping the um, this program. So, uh, this is how you can uh, move the data of uh, memory location to register pair. The next is load the content of memory location FC50H directly to the accumulator and then transfer it to register B. So, first you have to uh, load the content of this um, memory location directly to accumulator and then transfer it to register B. So, how can we write the uh, program? Here, first we can write LDA. FC50H, LDA uh, FC50H, it means we are loading this uh, accumulator, right? So, then move B comma A, move B comma A means we are moving the data of accumulator to the register B. So, we have already, uh, we have loaded the accumulator direct, here it is written direct, direct means here directly we are providing the address. So, address is provided. So, this is the address of the memory location and the data of this memory location will be transferred to the accumulator. So, suppose this FC50, this memory location is containing 35H. So, 35H. So, you have written LDA FC50H. So, load accumulator direct. LDA means uh, load accumulator direct. So, you are directly loading the data of this memory location to accumulator. So, now accumulator will contain 35H. Now, you want to transfer the data of this accumulator to the register B. So, move B comma A, what it will do? It will move the content of accumulator to register B. So, after this instruction, the B will contain 35H and the so, after this instruction, the memory location FC50H will also have 35H and accumulator will also have 35H and B will also have 35H, right? The content will not be altered. Here, we are just copying the value. So, 35H will be transferred to accumulator and accumulator data is transferred to B. So, this is how we can do the data transfer. Uh, we can use the data transfer instructions. So, this is the reference which I have used, this is microprocessor architecture, programming in applications with 8085. This book is from Ramesh Gaunkar. So,